So we're back on the hunt for trophy bears. We'll be targeting both grizzly bear and brown bear today across potentially three different maps. And we did this last week. It was really fun and something I found quite enjoyable is kind of watching the game evolve with these new drink zones for both brown bear and grizzly. We see more and more servers with those zones being active. So let's head out. We're going to try the south part of the map first and see if we can find any decent grizzlies. Ooh, I think. Yeah, we must have had some drinking right there. I didn't even see them. So we've got the 338. I just realized I don't have the HUD on. So this will be really interesting. Not knowing the zeroing. Looks like we got a lung. So I'll go ahead and turn that back on. And a pretty decent start, I'm pretty sure. We're at least going to have some grizzly bears in those drink zones, just like I mentioned. So we've got till 8 a.m. Till these guys are done drinking. Going to absolutely try to make the most of that. So just a level 5 here. The first shot was the good one. 109 meters got him a lung, liver, stomach. Just a 59 scoring silver. And just for fun, I haven't changed anything yet. We were 0-4-150, so that worked out good. This is just super exciting. Just to see bears in their zones. Nothing big yet. Level 4 there. Gonna go ahead and get him with the 338 too. And I want to make sure, because there's, I think, another herd of caribou down to our left. Another bear. Level 6 that we'll probably let go just in the interest of saving time. But I want to make sure we spot all the caribou as well. We really don't have that many in our lodge. So no sign of any decent caribou. I think that's the female bear that was with this one. And still nothing special, but just getting bears in the zone like I talked about. Watching the game essentially evolve as we continue to hunt these things. It's cool to see just more and more opportunities to hunt them this way. Is that a... Yeah, that is a level 5 caribou. I'm pretty sure it's going to troll. That is a really weird looking rack. It could be the case that like something about the oddity actually adds to the score. The estimate gives him a chance. So let's see if we can maybe get him. I wanted to, oh, we have the 6.5? Uh, I think we better alert it. Because I am not so sure that's going to get along. If we just sort of, I think we can shoot in the air here. Yeah, that'll do the job. So we need him to spin around alert. We've been finding a lot of bears, by the way. Just not a lot of decent sized bears. So came up here to the train bridge. And the first thing we find is this guy. Like I have seen that right antler when they're mirrored. I've seen that rack make diamond before. He is really not cooperating though. Maybe like that. I feel more confident in that. Little behind the shoulder so we don't have anything to stop the round. Looks like we got him good enough. Are we still got to check for grizzlies around here. I can see a couple. That's like literally what I keep finding. Really low level ones. And that's why I decided to jump up here instead. Got another kind of decent caribou there. So we'll run all the way out just to check. Because we're going to have to get down and go around. We can't jump off the bridge and heal before we die anymore. So grizzly bear drink time and we're out here shooting really odd looking level 5 caribou. 393 is not even close. 430 is the requirement so he's 37 shy. Long liver stomach actually not bad from the 6.5, but kind of as expected. Pretty unlikely a rack looking like that would end up as diamonds. So the only shame of this, minus the fact that I guess we got trolled, is how quickly Grizzly Drink Time goes. We've got maybe time to get to one more lake. So I'm thinking this little one up here in the dead forest can maybe be decent. I didn't know. What is that guy doing? It's a max system at 7. Didn't even realize he was there. I wonder if like he's trying to travel and was cutting across that lake and the mere fact that we fast traveled here got him stuck. Like, I don't know if we can claim that. We're gonna, what, what's gonna happen? Will he run out of there? I have a feeling we're not gonna recover that. If he gets out there, we should be okay. So there's our best bear and in a really weird way. So much like last time, we're still gonna stay on the server and hunt around for a while for other stuff. 63 score, by the way. So not a bad size 7. He was barely into the max range, but just good to see that weight up to a 680 again. So the thing about it is, all these grizzly, grizzlies were in their zones. The tracks will stay there for quite some time. Even if we're going hunting bison or moose or whatever else, if we're going around and checking tracks, we could hit a max weight track or potentially find some disturbed veg from one that was at a drink zone and fought, find it that way. I didn't know there were grizzly bears down here. Hiding perfectly behind that tree, just a level six. I'm not really sure what he'd be doing though. 
we got into along with the 338, so it's just the beginning of Bison Drink Time like we talked about, and that is one way that we can encounter them. Kind of decent caribou out there too, but I've basically never seen one in the swamps. Now to be fair, we don't come down here nearly as much anymore, but that's actually really good info to know. I wonder if there's maybe some drink zones for them down in here, because that would be a really easy spot to see one like out in the distance drinking. This guy is a silver at 60.7, point one below. Never gonna forget that mark because our albino is point two below. And that's of course kind of the main goal of this entire thing, but yeah, we'll definitely scoot through here now. Now, of course we know if we spook gray wolves today, they literally just freeze in place. So if we wanna try to get one of these, we might get that first one. In order to not just have it be basically meaningless and shoot one that's stuck, we gotta get them at a distance before they know we're here. 6.5 is pretty flat shooting, so we don't need to aim too high there. It's actually doing a solid job. I mean, it's no 7 mil or anything like that, but thus far, no problem bringing down either wolves or caribou, but you see what I mean? It's just a little less interesting to shoot one that's doing that. And I guess it does help the whole thing with the 6.5 not being as powerful. They literally don't run anywhere, so 37 scoring gold, double lung actually, at right about 200 meters. And that is not much lower than where we aim. Like I said, really flat shooting guns. So works good in this case for things like that. And I think we'll just leave these guys alone. So potentially anyway, one last grizzly bear. And I think it's gonna be time to switch maps. I was hoping he'd stand up so we could get a hard shot, but lungs will work. So this is potentially where the idea of up to three maps kind of comes in. We're going to back out to the menu and if there's another Yukon server, this Grizzly Bear drink time will go there. Otherwise, Medved or Revantuli looking for that early time. That's what we're going to do and see what we can find for them. Last time we ended up on Medved and got to see like, I don't know, 30 brown bears in 10 minutes. That drink time was nuts. So we'll see what's in store for us this time. But first, I think only our second gold grizzly of the entire hunt. Left long shot, 61.81 score. Now let's see where we find ourselves next. And back on Medved, oh, there's a mythical too, just like last time. It's like the end of Brown Bear drink time. It's 7.30, so we gotta move quick, which is kind of unfortunate. Gonna try to get that guy, and I can't tell what that is. It's not necessarily one of the like super common furs. Could certainly just be an uncommon, but when she gets out into the sun, we can probably try to figure that out. Unfortunately, no time to waste. So let's see, did we get along? We did. Just don't know what that is. And really bad time to switch items. I guess maybe Deserve Veg can help us? Gonna get our answer, which is good. Yeah, just the gray variant. Actually, we shot one of those in the last hunt. I noticed over there there's a bunch of stuck gray wolves that must have been moving through right when we shot. Don't think there's anything special, but unfortunately, not just an issue on Yukon. But just like that, at least level-wise, our biggest bear of the entire hunt, a 26.45 cinnamon. Not bad, barely got the lung, but barely. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> kind of the point of the video. I'm never going to say that again. We're just going to continue on. Got a max 7 out there too. I kind of think the setup m might be for like bear grinding. Because there's a bunch of tents in like all the good bear spots. And also a ton of bears here, which kind of makes sense. But I guess we'll try to make the most of it. And again, maybe a gray. I can't tell what that is. I'm gonna assume, because it's the same situation. But that would be a much better one if that's the case. So this one, I think that is the gray variant. One of the best ones we've ever shot then. 25.76, I said it in the last video, I'll say it again. Outside of a super rare, I think this would be the coolest diamond. Maybe spirit, but with the changes, the spirits aren't as like silvery anymore. It's really these ones that have that silvery fur. I just think they look really, really nice. So that'll be definitely part of the quest as we're going along. And, you know, I'm not saying we're going to do it every single video or anything, but the way things are looking, finding bears in these drink zones, I definitely think going back and looking for big bears and definitely albinos is something we're going to want to do. I mean, there are so many bears. It's insane, like, how many you can encounter on Medved. One of the better females. I think it's still possible to get level 6 female brown bear, but haven't seen one in a long time. I think that's a gray again, but a level 4 this time? Suppose we'll try to get the 6. Did we spot that one? 
It's just like... Wait, what? How in the world do we do that? That's probably not gonna kill it. That should. That made no sense. So like this one we know, the follow-up shot was fine. Light brown gold, by the way, but just right lung. This, on the other hand, where did that first shot hit? It was in like the back leg. We'll have to do like a replay and see what was going on. Cause I'm really not sure how that could have possibly happened. She was behind him. So it's not as if she was in the way. I got no idea. Also, I realize I'm pretty sure this server is set up for reindeer grinding because the reindeer challenges that have been set up certainly wouldn't make sense. So kind of cool to see. So just like last time, coming down here now for mustard drink time, and also just like last time, the things are absolutely everywhere, but that tent that we spawned at where we killed the level 7 gray, it's gone now because the previous host left. Now that I think is a spirit, so we might try to get that and maybe we don't even need the 22, but I wonder how often that actually happens, like joining a server, thinking it's just a normal server that's never been set up, but then actually all the zones and stuff that have been discovered, they're there, potentially because of tents and tripods that are set up that then are removed when the host leaves. It was just kind of interesting to see that happen right in front of us, because it was clearly, like, optimized for something. And now it's just a vanilla-looking map. And I bring all that up to say, as we harvest our second pretty cool level 7 brown bear that is the spirit. I mean, they are still silvery, obviously. I just think the greys actually kind of look better now with these changes. 25 score for that guy. But I think we're going to go ahead and change it back to brown bear time just to see. It's too good of an opportunity not to do it since we got host. So I imagine we're going to see a whole bunch more bears. You know, honestly, I think I'm seeing why there's just so many bears down there in the southeast. Most of the rest of the map is not like that. And I'm far from experienced in hunting brown bears on Medved, at least since they moved everything around. Maybe that's just far and away the best place to spend any time. So kind of think we might go back down there because checking all these lakes over here like on the west side of the map been down through the south a little bit i'm just not seeing anything like what we saw at the very beginning so drop this little links here 25.1 score we're getting to see a lot of medved species and i guess we'll just kind of go right back where we started maybe swing up to that lake too so go figure got a mythical lynx down here i kind of have wonder if the problem is that they've been spooking the bears so we might as well try to get that. No surprise. Taking the shot, sent a bear running off. But we were already down here. I just wanted to check because we got here so late. There could have been something else here that maybe was gone before we ever got to this spot. Now the question is, can we actually spot everything now that we've sort of fired a shot? Hopefully so. And on the bright side, Lynx are done drinking anyway. So we should be pretty much good from here on out. 26.36 for that. And unless there's anything else that was hiding earlier, I think we'll go ahead and move to that lake a bit north of us. Oh, come on. Not again. I saw that frame sticking up there. <laughs> it's like the exact same thing as what we shot over on Yukon Valley. But this time, like the estimate's almost the same. This time it's a reindeer and not a caribou. I mean, not like we're not going to shoot it. Should find its way into the lungs with the 6.5. We've seen it do well enough that I trust it to go for that. That's kind of an interesting estimate. I don't think that was Mela. So I thought for a second there that maybe so many animals score top or bottom of the estimate. Level 6, 24 is about what you'd expect. And he's kind of dark over there in the shadows. But I saw like the snout. I think that's just a dark brown. We're probably still going to shoot him. And I'm not even gonna get my hopes up on this one i thought maybe the weirdness with the caribou could help there's zero chance like i don't even think this will top 400 388 actually worse <laughs> than the caribou ow talk about insult to injury lung and liver so again the 6.5 at least being the kind of silver lining in this hunt really really interesting the way this has all gone down so that we can see is maybe like a goldish fur and yeah i think that is the dark brown just for the sake of it get him to face this way maybe even stand up 
Take your time. Not what we're looking for. There we go. Yeah, not going to be anything special. Just hard to tell with the lighting. And that should bring him down pretty quickly. So all of that. Oh, for red brown. Still, I think it's not uncommon. Don't see as many of those, but still nothing special. 23.26. And we might as well continue running around like the edge of this lake. We have 40 in-game minutes. That's about 10 real minutes. Might be able to cover most of this. And there's clearly some bear zones up here that used to be a really good spot. So why not check it out? Oh my. Can we stop? <laughs> That's not going to make it either. Like, it's just not. 350 to 429? Actually guaranteed troll. Maybe that's a plus? Like, how is this happening? I guess at least better to find some max levels than none. We'll just go ahead and line this up and send another 6.5 round down range. Three level fives today between reindeer and caribou and not have been particularly close. I'll give this one a little bit of a special exception since reindeer and caribou do troll a lot. <laughs> it's just getting worse. 373 for that. But I can only think of one other time where we've had three trolls in the same video, and I think that was on for Hunga Savannah, so got a little bit more time to go, maybe even time to top that yet. You know, I was gonna look for a decent male muscular to wrap this video up, but what better way to end a hunt full of trolls than with a max weight estimate female muscular? If we could get a male in that range, it would probably be pretty decent, but just kind of the way it goes sometimes, and unfortunately, Despite the fact that I think this hunt went way better than last week, we had more opportunities to hunt bears in their drink zones, I think we killed way more bears in general, still no luck with any kind of trophies, even counting other species quite clearly, but I really like the direction this is headed. Like I said earlier, I can definitely see really trying to focus in on trying to get some rare both grizzly and brown bears going forward, especially if we can have days like today where we get to hunt them in good numbers in their drink zones. So, Got to learn a lot about where to focus on, especially brown bear here on Medved, and we'll see where that leads us in the future. So, 14.79 kilo, at least that's not diamond weight for males. And I think that's going to be the last kill of this video. And no lodge trip because apparently caribou and reindeer don't really like us that much. But anyway, that's going to do it for this video. So, as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.